This is Perio, Chapter 6, Part 3. Dental plaque biofilm development always begins supragingivally and progresses subgingivally. See Figure 6.16, page 113 of your textbook. Sequence of attachment. Within hours, the pellicle film forms over the crown of the tooth. Within hours, early colonizers attach supragingivally. Within six hours, the surface of the tooth crown becomes covered. On day seven, mature supragingival biofilm forms. In three to 12 weeks, subgingival biofilm starts to form. The subgingival attachment zones include the root surface and the epithelial lining of the periodontal pocket. Tooth-associated bacteria attach from just below the gingival margin almost to the junctional epithelium. They appear to have the ability to invade the dentinal tubules of the cementum. They are dominated by filamentous cocci and rods. Tissue-associated bacteria adhere to the epithelium of the pocket wall. They are distinctly different from the tooth-associated bacteria. They can invade the gingival connective tissue and be found on the surface of the alveolar bone. They include large numbers of spirochetes and flagellated bacteria. Research suggests that tissue-associated plaque is the most detrimental to the periodontal tissues. In addition to the attached bacteria, the periodontal pocket contains free-floating bacteria that are not part of the biofilm. Current research shows that the body's immune response to the plaque biofilm is the primary cause of the destruction seen in periodontitis. This is extremely important to note. The periodontal pathogens in the biofilm activate the body's immune system. Inflammation causes most of the damage. Periodontitis is a continuous, low-grade inflammation occurring 24 hours a day, month after month. Virulence factors are the mechanisms that enable the bacteria to colonize and invade the tissue of the periodontium. This is a minor cause of periodontal destruction. There are two types of bacterial virulence factors. They include the characteristics of the bacteria themselves, as well as products produced by the bacteria. Bacterial invasion factors allow the bacteria to actively penetrate the epithelial lining of the pocket wall and enter the gingival connective tissue. Peptides are short chains of amino acids found in living bacterial cell membranes that control the transport of molecules in and out of the bacterial cell. T-cells lock onto the peptides and alert the body's immune system of the bacterial invaders. Bacterial products include exotoxins, which are harmful proteins released from the bacterial cell, and enzymes, which are agents that break down and are harmful to the body's cells. The bacteria have various survival mechanisms. 
the biofilm bacteria are extremely resistant to antibiotics, antimicrobial agents, and the body's immune system. The extracellular slime layer protects from drugs and the body's leukocytes. Some bacteria produce enzymes that degrade antibiotics faster than the drug can penetrate into the biofilm. Bacteria in the deepest layers of the biofilm become dormant. Antibiotics only work on bacteria that are active and reproducing. When a course of antibiotics is finished, the dormant bacteria within the biofilm reactivate. Control of bacteria in dental plaque biofilms is best achieved by the physical disruption of the biofilm, such as brushing, flossing, and periodontal instrumentation. Dental plaque biofilm development always begins supragingivally and progresses subgingivally. Subgingival biofilms may be tooth associated or tissue associated. Research suggests that tissue associated plaque is the most detrimental to the periodontal tissues. Current research shows that the body's immune response to the plaque biofilm is the primary cause of the destruction seen in periodontitis. Bacterial virulence factors are a minor cause of the destruction seen in periodontitis. Biofilm bacteria are extremely resistant to antibiotics, antimicrobial agents, and the body's immune system. Therefore, control of bacteria in dental plaque biofilms is best achieved by the physical disruption of the biofilm, such as brushing, flossing, and periodontal instrumentation. This concludes the audio lecture for Perio Chapter 6.